Hello, trading has closed on the 7th of March, 2023. We always do our disclaimer, go over our calls, and then make some predictions for tomorrow. This is my trading plan for Wednesday, which is the 8th of March, 2023. Remember, it's a plan. I can change it. It's a prediction. It can be wrong. All trades should be made at your own risk. We had a few calls from last evening. We said this was a pattern with the early high. It tends to be a negative day with a low in the final hour. It certainly was a negative day, but the low didn't come in the final hour, did it? Let's see. Well, right at the final hour. We also had some higher targets, 40, 62, 45, and 40, 58, 36. We said unless we get down smartly, look for higher prices. Well, we didn't gap down, but we had a big drop about half an hour after the open when the announcement was made that uh, that interest rates were going to go up higher than were previously thought, as previously thought. But that one has to count as a miss. We'll add these numbers to our list. We'll take this number off the list, though. 403605. It's a target and also resistance. And look how we stopped right at the number. During the day, MJT said this rally was not there was not the real thing. Would retrace. Said this drop was not the real thing. Would retrace. Said this blip up wasn't the real thing. And that's all played out. We did get a hell signal in the afternoon but when it comes at the low of the day all you have to do is undercut that low because uh, the the price target of the signal is, is not well defined well before we go into tomorrow let's make a note that after this big drop this close was over the midday lows which means the last three hours or so of trading didn't really accomplish anything. Now, that doesn't have to be maintained at tomorrow, but if it at tomorrow's open, but if it is maintained through the open tomorrow, it's actually a positive pattern. It means the drop has run out of steam. And if we don't drop, if we, if we don't have a gap in either direction and promptly undercut this low, we should see higher prices tomorrow. It doesn't assure us we'll have a close that's higher, but I think it's entirely possible. Let's just remind ourselves what this long-term count is. We think we've completed a major ABC. Now this like C doesn't have to be complete. We can have a cons we can have a consolidation here and as long as we close around the same price as this low or at least <clears throat> don't undercut that low, just have a close around that, that low or so, it doesn't really change anything and since this is a rather short wave uh, compared this is magenta C that's pretty abbreviated in terms of time compared to magenta A they don't have to be equal time but if we consolidate it around here it wouldn't really change anything and it wouldn't surprise me as long as that low held now it's possible to count this drop as a complete structure you have your A you have your B and wave C and wave A have a very good um, Fibonacci relationships. I see that my grandchildren are making their own are making their own comments on the on today's market action. So if you can hear them in the background, um, we'll just uh, take their comments under advisement. So this is actually a potential short-term low. And if this holds tomorrow, I think we can see higher prices. Of course, we have these lower targets too. They don't have to print anytime soon, even though I think they will print at some time and we still have these higher targets. Remember this week, I have personal business all week. Won't have much time to analyze things. Now tomorrow's pattern has really high. We could still gap down. Despite today's day-long drop, we closed over midday lows. The pattern typically hits the slow near the close. And if the current close is maintained through the open, the pattern should lead to a higher price printing tomorrow, regardless of where it closed. Now, there's a wave count, which counts this drop as complete. And if it's the right count, which of course we don't know, but if it is, we could have a decent rally tomorrow. 
I continue to feel we've made a major bottom and one negative a day doesn't change anything. So tomorrow has a really high, hold this and I think we'll go up, but I still think a major low's in and that's today's call. 